Welcome to another episode of Core Quizzes. My name's Legacy. And I'm Max. Bobby. All right. Today we're into another round of NBA quiz trivia. Woo! Last time our winner was Bobby won by one point. Uh, Let's see if Bobby can retain his crown or will someone dethrone him? Well, I'll go, right. go two-time champ. Going for you, Max. I'm sorry. Bobby can lose his crown and Jacob's won too many times. So, gentlemen, are you ready? Ready. Always. All right. So, NBA trivia, I broke it down into several categories. The first category, being that th- they are my favorite player, it is Shaq. All right? Wow. And... Yeah, if you got a problem with it, create your own thing. Create your own NBA quiz, but this is what it is. So each, as the questions go for each category, they are supposed to get harder as it goes. So we're going to go pretty easy, pretty light question. What team was Shaq drafted by? See, this could always be something random since the NBA has stupid rules. It could be. Because last time I did have one that was a little quick. I had somebody else drafted, and it was a little trickier. I think it was Steve Nash. A and the mountain, if you want to say your answer or Orlando. if you're texting me. That is a clean sweep. It was the Orlando Magic. He was the number one pick. As he should be. What a bum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Question number two What jersey number did Shaq wear as a Laker? Oh. What jersey number did Shaq wear as a oh, Laker? Gosh. Ignore the first one, Philip. I'm dyslexic. I'll just delete it. Ah. Uh, and Hunter? Uh, 33. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh, vitamin oh, J, can you tell them what number it actually was? You're being mad, Hunter. It was 34. It's Damn. 34. I knew I, knew, I, knew I was just, like, just, I, just I was a reminder. Just a reminder 33 is Kareem Abdul Jabbar's mm-hmm. number, and Damn 32 it. is Magic Johnson's got, number. Yeah. Yep. So uh, he was 34. Yeah. I, I, was, I was just thinking of the better center. That's what it was. Max, did, mm, you, did okay. you get it? No. No, you, Vitamin J, you were the only one who got it. Did 34. Max 33 as well? Nope. No, he gets 32. Gets Magic's number. You need to sharpen up on your NBA jersey numbers, guys. All right. True or false? False. 63 points is Shaq's career high in points. Seems plausible. True or false? I'm going to say... All right, I got an answer. I'm going to say false. Come on. Tell me it's true. The mountain in D3, you're right. It is false. It It is not 63 points. It was not 63 points. Yes, 61 so, D3? You didn't know what his career high was. <laughs> I knew it wasn't 63. You, didn't know, you had no reason to believe <laughs> it couldn't be either. Shot. Yeah. <laughs> Along with that question, who did Shaq score his career high points against? What team did he score his career high points against? Fun fact, it was also on his birthday. Okay, so I got, uh, I got, I got like 30 teams to consider here. <laughs> well, not the Lakers, Jacob, or the uh, But uh, his career high could have been as Orlando against the Lakers, or it could have been as the Lakers against Orlando. Mm-hmm. 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 So I, mm-hmm. I, have, I have all these teams to consider. Or the Heat against Orlando. Or the Heat, and, and vice versa, you know? All right, all the answers are in. D3, can you enlighten the group who he scored them against? It, it's the Clippers. It was against the LA Clippers. Uh, so I, put Lakers. I, knew, I knew it was. I knew it was in LA. It was an out the he wrong was playing out. a birthday party, and so he wasn't going to really try that hard against the Clippers. And I think was it Cream called him out or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cream. Then Shaq mm-hmm. decided to really try to play, and then he scored his career high against them. Yeah, I like you knew the story. Yep, that is it. I I heard the. I remember he once said it. And I thought that was a very interesting. That rounds over. We're going to go into our next section, which is trades. All right, all these questions are going to involve NBA trades. Question number five. What player was involved in the Luka Doncic trade? What player was involved in the Luka Doncic? Technically, there's two players I'll accept the answer for, but, you know, because of who they ended up picking. But, you know, either way you want to do it. You know the team regrets it. Do they? (laughs) Mm, All right. 
Um, Hunter. Hundred percent, they regret it. Uh, Trey Young, and for bonus, was it DeAndre Hunter? You were right with Trey Young. Hunter. Bonus was actually was not DeAndre Hunter. It was actually Cam Reddish. They uh, used okay, the 2019. Yeah. Was a 2019 pick. But that was a good guess, though. That was a good guess. But it was Trey Young, and it ended up the pick ended up being Cam Reddish. We're gonna go into our question number six. What team? Would have had the number one pick in the 2011 draft had they not traded it prior. So the number one pick of the 2011 draft was Kyrie Irving. But this team traded it for right before that, during that season, before that season. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. No, no, idea. no, it will not have been now. Can't remember. All right. The Mountain. What's your guess? Clippers, I don't know. That was a heck of a guess. It was the Los Angeles Clippers. Oh, wow. It just seemed like a very Clipper thing to do. It's the Baron Davis trade, I believe, right? Correct. It was the Baron Davis trade. So the Clippers could have had back, they would have had Blake Griffin and Kyrie Irving, which would have been very different um, Clippers team because then the Chris Paul thing never happens, most likely. Or that trade would have looked very different. So that's always the thing. Yep. It was a Baron Davis move. Or it was like they got a pick and then they they I can't it's something yeah 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 because it, it was like the, the, it that. was yeah it was with Baron Davis with Cleveland which I never understood why they didn't why it wasn't protected especially because yeah, that's, that's what they did they didn't protect it. That's, being what, that's what happened very weird question number seven <laughs> what team was Rasheed Wallace on before he was traded to the Pistons you said Rasheed right. Yep, yeah. Rasheed okay. Wallace. Okay. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, Hunter, what is your guess? The Jailblazers. All right. You all <laughs> completely wrong. Nope. He no? got traded to the Hawks for one day, played uh, one oh, game with the yeah, Hawks, okay, okay. then went to – that's why it was a trick right. question. I was like, that was a hard one. Because he got traded the year they won the championship, and he was there. The Hawks sold out the one day, and they won the game that he was traded. So he was there for one day. I just always thought it was funny. We're going to go into our next category, which is records. So it's records, and somehow this is involving a record in the NBA. Whether it's a team or something else. All right. Start it off. What player has the most seasons playing with one team? Mm. What player has the most seasons playing for one team? Gosh, it's, it's one of two people. Yeah, that's the yeah, I'm stuck between the two. Gosh, it's, it's, I just got, which one is it? Yeah, I feel like I feel like you have two choices here. <laughs> this is yeah, cool. I mean, I, I think it is one of two people. It could be. Yeah, I. I but I, I, can, uh, one. I can only think of two people. Uh, the mountain. What's your guess? Um, Malone, but it wasn't surprising if it was Tree Rollins. Unfortunately, yeah, you are wrong, Bobby. Who was it? It's Dirk. Yeah. It is Dirk. Twenty-one Dirk, seasons. Really? Dirk, Twenty-one like, seasons with Dallas. Yeah, I feel like it was like Dirk or Kobe. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was Dirk or Kobe. I was. I think it's Dirk. Yeah, it was Dirk. Twenty-one seasons. Who is the youngest player to reach a thousand assists? The youngest. Who is, yeah. who is okay. the youngest player to reach a thousand assists? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. this makes total sense. All right, um, yeah. the mountain. What is your guess? Um, Doncic. I don't know. You all forgot one thing that you didn't take into account. What? People used to jump from high school to the NBA, and you forgot yeah, this guy, Vitamin J. You should have gotten it. Is it's it LeBron. Kobe? It's LeBron. LeBron. No. He is the young. I, he was like I the was youngest thinking, to reach a I was thousand. LeBron, but then yeah. I was thinking about that. He oh, had a lot. He left his freshman year. Yeah, he uh, left, but yeah. that year LeBron helped I LeBron thought, uh, because he had that yeah. extra year. Yeah. Magic was still good, and Lamel like some of them, but LeBron uh, yeah. had that jump because he had Lamello, that extra year. Lamello. That was a fun fact that I saw. He did it at twenty years, one hundred and two days. All right, next question: Who holds the record for three point percentage all time? Who holds the record for three point percentage all time? Oh wait, hold on. Okay, answer. All right, we got our answers in. All right, Max, what is the answer? 
Steve Kerr. Correct. It is Steve Kerr Dang. with 45.4%. Uh, everybody, got it. Vitamin J, you're, yeah, you're the only one who didn't get it. Way to switch your answer because I was like, you, you were going to be wrong. Cor- 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 he, he's up there, but Kerr is always the I think one. Curry second. I think Curry yeah. second. Yeah, Curry's the one. I also remember that because of uh, when he did Inside the NBA and all those little shows. They used to always talk about it. This last question in the records: What is the most field goals made in a game without a miss? So I'm looking for a number. What amount is the most field goals made in a game without a miss? Okay. And Derek Lamelo is also the second youngest to do a thousand points, a thousand rebounds, and a thousand assists. Oh, that's good to know. In case that question ever comes up. All right, and there's a plus or minus one if nobody's correct. The Mountain. What is your 18. guess? Unless I feel like it was Chris Paul earlier, but I want to say eighteen. I don't know. But you and Max are correct. It is eighteen. <laughs> ah, that just felt right 17. when I guessed. I was like eighteen. That I guess. Right. I guess seventeen. Yeah, you're. I, I, I was really, um, really shooting high. I went twenty-one. Yep, it is eighteen. It was done by Wilt Chamberlain. Um, <laughs> that, that seems right. So we're done with records. We're now moving into playoffs. We are going to start off with a pretty easy question: What two teams have faced each other the most in the NBA Finals? What two teams have faced each other the most in the NBA Finals? Is that easy? Hmm. I can't give a hint because if I try and say anything, it'll you know, give it away. You know what I'm saying with the two with the, with the gift, he guessed two teams. Yes, yes, gift works. Okay. The mountain. What is your answer? Uh, Lakers Celtics. Correct. It is the Lakers and Celtics. They have played each other eleven times. Thank. We're gonna go into our next question for playoffs. Who was the first team to be involved? In two three one comebacks in the same playoff. Who was the first team to be involved in three in two three one comebacks in playoffs? I got I got what you laying down. All right. The mountain. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Warriors. That is correct. It was the Warriors. They were two straight in that finals because they lost. If you remember, they beat the Thunder, then yeah. lost yeah. the next round to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the most historic one. Everybody got that right, except for Vitamin J. He yeah. put the Nuggets. I put Nuggets, which is, yeah, they won. Because I was trying to specify of, like, they were involved, they just didn't win. I was yeah, trying to make no, sure it was, was clear, not, like, no, I'm not I, saying I, they I, won. I had already sent the text, and when you said that, yeah. I was like, uh, I thought Warriors, but that's, I'm going to just keep it. What year did the NBA change to the seven 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 format it's so basically what it is best of seven the whole way through the playoffs what year did they change it like what what playoffs because technically the year would have been different than the playoffs because it would have been the next year but what season of the playoffs you can give me the season or just the number the year the playoffs happened 94 all right so when jay can you tell them the year it's 73 because it's yeah, senior, it's, it's the same. Yeah, the three was a dad. It's, oh, wow. Yeah, it's that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 no, I, this is the fourth. It was the year of LeBron, so that's why not. Yeah, it was the first year they did all seven before. The, yeah, it used to be for a while, it was the five, seven, five, first round, which is yeah. five, then mm-hmm. all sevens, but 2003. I, I, I much prefer the seven, seven, seven. Well, yeah. Name me the three teams. That reached the NBA Finals with a losing record. Uh, so losing record. Okay. I don't know, man. You said it was three teams. Yep, three teams. I can get you two. <laughs> but here's the thing: he needs three. Oh, third team. Damn, damn, damn. Mountain. What do you? Uh, got? The hell, if I know. Hawks, Sixers, and man. Uh, I, I don't know. So the answer is the 1959 Minneapolis Lakers. Gotcha. They Sorry. had a record 33 and 39. Mm-hmm. The 1957 St. Louis Hawks 
34 and 38. And the 1981 Houston yep. Rockets, 40 Rockets. and 42. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, like, some of you guys got two out of the three. I was like, uh, man, yeah, I got two. The the Rockets, better. The I, I thought the you all uh, The Rockets was easy. That one was the most mm. you know, well known, probably. And I knew the Lakers. But, mm. nah, I put, yeah. I, put, I, put, no, I knew the Hawks did it. I knew the I, Hawks did it. Mm. just combined. Or yeah, if yeah, you guys, you were good. You guys got it close. So good job. Good job. But yeah, uh, it's a very fun fact. No team has ever won the NBA Finals with a losing record, though. All of those teams lost. All right, we will move on. We are going now into the NBA All-Star Game. Who has the most All-Star Game MVPs? Who has the most All-Star Game MVPs? There's technically two answers you can use. There's technically two players. So I'll give you a hint. There is a tie. You only got to give me one of them. I'm not asking for both. The Mountain... If you want to text or say your answer. Is it Jordan? Vitamin J and Bobby, what is the answer? That's, that's the other dude. It's Kobe. It is Kobe. Yeah. That's, that's, and that's, the, that's, that's the, name, the worst name after him. Yeah, and the other one is Bob Pettit. They both have four. Oh, I was not. Yeah, you were never going to get Yeah, Bob the Pettit other one enough. was very random. The only reason I saw I knew that is because the fourth when Kobe went for his fourth, it was they kept bringing up that he could tie Bob Pettit and he kind of went for it to yeah, win the. Yeah, I remember when he. Yeah, I remember when he tied it. All right. The next question is: What is the most number of All Stars chosen from one team in the same year? What is the most yeah. number of All Star players? So all the player, mm-hmm. how many players from, from one, one team, team all made the all made the all-star game uh, 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 four that is correct uh, it is four it is four players have made it Um, it's happened on several occasions the next question who has the most points in a single NBA all-star game who has the most points in a single NBA all-star game I think I think it's not who I think it will be the mountain what is your other guess it's um, Tatum. It just happened. You are correct. It just happened. It is hmm. Tatum. 55 points. Yep. The only part, I figured that question, it might be, I figured you'd know it, Jacob, because it was yeah, Tatum. Uh, of course. And of course. you, uh, but, um, yeah, good job. I, I, was, I, I was hoping yeah, you were going to ask happened. how many points, because I knew the points, too, but then you already said it. So The next question is going to be, what year was the first ever NBA All-Star game? Mm. So I'm talking about NBA. What year? I'm going to give you all a hint. It was pre 1970s. So okay, up there. Should I do my theory of it always ending in the nine or not? This this makes sense. This is a general ballpark. All right, the mountain. What is your guess? Uh, 68. All right. Somebody was in the plus or minus. Nobody got on the exact. Vitamin J, you got that one. It is 1951. March uh-huh. 2nd, 1951. About 1950. Was the first ever All-Star game. Next question. This is going to be from the miscellaneous category. From So it could be from whatever. Who is the only player to have two numbers retired by the same team? Who is the only player to have two numbers retired by the same team? All right. And the Mountain? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think they retired his jerseys, but I'm going to Kobe. You are correct. It is uh, Kobe. Wow. He is the only player. Yeah. I was 8 and 24 were both retired. Well, he's really he's really one of the only ones I can even think of that had switched jerseys. Yeah, I'm going to say. That one's a pretty easy one if you just know um, think about who switched jerseys. All right, now it's going to get a little bit harder. All right. Who was the first player to be enshrined in the NBA Hall of Fame? Mm. Who was the first player to be enshrined in the NBA Hall of Fame? Got to use some context and think about it a little bit. Well, I got to think when, when the Hall of Fame was established. Uh, I'm going with the first superstar. All right, Mountain. Um, let's go, Russell. Ooh, was it Will? Vitamin J and D3 got it right. The first superstar of the NBA, George Mikan. I feel like it has to be him. He was the first superstar. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, he that was, was the first superstar. Of the he's the first like, person he, to he had advertise to... him as a marquee attraction and not the team. All right. The next question. 
Who holds the record for the lowest points per game to win an NBA MVP? Oh, wait. Or it could be the other person. Mm -hmm. Don't want to change my answer. So, no. so lowest lowest points per game for the series or lowest for the no, career? For, for the season to get the MVP. Oh, oh sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. No, 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 no. Oh. Finals, finals, finals. Oh. Sorry, my bad. Oh, okay. My bad. I forgot oh, to say finals. No, I forgot to say finals. My bad. I thought I did. Oh, okay. When well, you said season, it's like, it's NBA Finals MVP. So if you need to re-guess, please re-guess. Yes, Because that was all me. All right. Uh, the Mountain, who did you guess? Uh, was it Wes Unsell? Congratulations, Mounds. You're the correct person. It was Wes Unsell. Oh, that was my second <laughs> guess. Oh. I, I didn't know if yeah. you guys would get it because he was. Uh, we talked about Iguodala. Yeah, several of you guys yeah, yeah, Iguodala, Igu 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 but it was Wes Unsell. He actually only averaged nine points. He's, many people said okay. he did not deserve to win the finals MVP. Well, see, um, I, was, I, was, I, I, I thought he averaged 11, though. So. I think he's still the only rookie to win the MVP as well. Yeah, because he, he, yeah, he, he won it. Uh, next closest, uh, Magic Johnson had 16.2. Andre Guadalla had 16.3 when he won it. That high, All right, good job. Way to get that. That was a pretty hard one. Who was the coach of the 1980 Lakers that won the NBA championship? Who was the coach of the 1980 Lakers that won the NBA championship? Hmm. I'm so glad you clarified that they won the championship. Thank you. I was about to put the other person. All right. And what is your guess there, Mountain? Uh, Pat Riley. Ooh. Actually, the first time he won, Magic won the championship. Who was the coach, Vitamin J? It was Paul Westhead. Oh, okay, yeah, that's my second guess. No, I, yeah, that was a good good go, but that was where the trick was. I wanted to get you because I wanted you all to think it was Pat Riley. No, it's Paul Westhead won the first one with the Showtime Lakers. He did get fired, and Pat Riley yeah. w got later and was mm -hmm. there for the rest of it because Magic did not like it. Basically, a lot of speculation was a lot of, with Magic to do. Paul Westhead was coaching like late because he was he was he coached uh, um. Uh, women's uh, Oregon women's basketball, like in the yeah. early 2010s. Yeah, he, he did. It is that time. I need I need to know bets. How are you putting zero again? All right, this is it. Final question. This is gonna go actually to NBA team name origins. What NBA team is speculated to have been named after its owner? So the. Team name speculate to have something to do with the owner. Hmm. Let's think. Is it their current name? I can neither say yes or no. Okay. Interesting. It's never been fully confirmed, but it's been a big speculation. Okay. Let's get uh, I think I have every team name. Let's get that right. I'm, I'm trying to see what fits. You also got to know. know. You got to know. know owners. Yeah, owners. I think I know. Let me know when they've got to go. I think the answer. most logical answer would be, and it's probably not that. The Mountain. What you got? Yeah, the Bobcats. Oh, yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah. the winner of NBA trivia is the Mountain. It is yeah, Bobcats right. because Bob Johnson, yeah, Bob Johnson was yeah, the right. owner. That's right. And that's yeah. why I always thought it was, I, yeah. I was fairly certain I knew that for a fact. Yeah, 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 I remember hearing about that actually. But I just yeah, because uh, you like, asked nah. me, because you're the one who asked me, it was, was the it the current name? name. Yeah. I, yeah, I was like, oh, we caught him on the right track, but I'm like, I can't tell you that yeah. because if I say that, then it's gonna give away the answer. And immediately, my first response was Bobcat. That's why I wanted to ask. But mm -hmm. yeah, good job, good job. It's like you have to know the owner's name. But yes, that was a speculation. It's never been confirmed, but it's always been a speculation. I always See, thought it was I, just I, a fun. I thought, it, I thought it was confirmed, but I kind of wish he was on the team yeah. now. So there you go. Congratulations, the Mountain with the yeah. NFL with the NBA crown. All right, thank you guys all for playing. Uh, it was fun. My name's Legacy, and I'm Max. I'm Bobby. I'm Jay. And Hunter. Till next time. See ya.